Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot, a man with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Now I am stood on a village green which is alongside a major road and that major road is one we've seen before, that's the A614 and that, if you follow it the way the camera is currently pointing, you'll end up in Ghoul. And this is the green, it's fairly large, certainly not as large as uh, the one we saw in Northamptonshire in Never Hayford, but it's big enough. And we'll be coming back to this during the video because to start with, I actually want to head that way. This is another circular village within the East Riding of Yorkshire. Welcome to Rawcliffe. So that's effectively like the back of Rawcliffe. I'll call it the back. Um, the road that runs alongside the River Air. Not that you could see the air very much because it's very overgrown at the moment, that riverbank. Uh, but it is there. Okay, so now I'm on Bell Lane and this is going to take us back down to the A614. Uh, and we'll find some of Rawcliffe's shops here and we'll also find St. James's Church.
So according to this information board, which is just outside St. James's Church, Rawcliffe is called the Queen of Villages. And there's a lot of information on this board. I'm gonna take a few snapshots of this and they will follow this very shot in the video. Have yourself a read about the Queen of Villages. Okay, so uh, my route does not take me past Rawcliffe's Primary School, which is over there. Uh, I'm going along Boynton Drive because this will take me back towards the A614. However, we, I will pass this later because I'm, I need to head down to Rawcliffe Bridge so I can get uh, the train station and some rather interesting uh, things to see in the uh, small I don't know what you call it, a hamlet, but certainly um, secondary village, we'll call it, uh, of Rawcliffe Bridge. But for now, I'm on Boynton Drive. It's looking very peaceful. And I'm going to use this to get back to the A614. Okay, people out there, I have absolutely no idea what petank is. I don't have a clue. Is it a, some kind of sport? I really don't know. If anyone knows out there what petank is, let me know. I'm assuming it's something to do with this. But who knows?
Right, that's the main walk around Rawcliffe done. I'm just going to nip across to the to cost cutter to get me some food. And then I'm driving this way down past the green and we're heading towards Rawcliffe Bridge and I shall make a stop at the station. Right, now we're in Rawcliffe Bridge, which is much smaller and it, most of it lays on this one road. This is uh, an extension of Station Road from where the station was that we've just seen. And it eventually leads towards Thorn in Doncaster. So I'm going to have a little walk around here. There are a couple of things of interest. The first thing, of course, is the Rawcliffe Bridge Hotel, which I'm stood right outside. and. Something I'm not going to walk to is Sugar Mill Ponds, which are this way back towards Rawcliffe. There's a left turn. Um, I imagine it's just like a country park or a nature park or something like that. But I'm not going to walk towards those. Um, I'll put a picture of them in the video at this point. You might even be looking at it right now with a little bit of information. But I'm heading this way, heading towards a canal. So effectively in Rawcliffe Bridge, there are two bridges. There's one 
over the canal and one over the Dutch River. And I must admit, this is a wobbly bridge. There's a lorry that's just gone over it while I've been stood on it filming the river. And uh, yeah, um, things were a little bit shaky, shall we put it that way. Uh, but I, I believe it's sturdy enough. I don't think it's going to collapse anytime soon. <laughs> I do trust the people that build these things. They are magnificent feats of engineering bridges. Right, now to head back into Rawcliffe Bridge Village. I've just got a couple more things to show you. TVI Ask the Locals moment in this video yet and I'm about to give it to you right now. So I'm stood on Rawcliffe Bridge Crusaders' pitch and to the left of me here is a green fence and behind that green fence are some raised mounds. Now I don't know what this is but the only clue I've got is a sign here that says danger deep water so I don't think they're reservoirs and I don't think they'd be fenced off in this manner so guys Rawcliffe locals what is this what is this place what exactly are the raised mounds and what's it got to do with the water let me know Okay guys, I think on balance, the Queen of Villages is probably about right. I mean, I don't think there's anything particularly royal about Rawcliffe, but um, to call it the Queen of Villages, I think is, is pretty good. I mean, a, a queen is a, is, a, is a person of importance, a person of um, high, you know, held in high regard, uh, usually a lot of history around kings and queens, of course, royalty, etc. Um, and I think Rawcliffe ticks some of those boxes. I think it's, uh, I think it's probably earned its name of the Queen of Villages. Um, I'm not quite sure where it came from. Uh, maybe that's something you guys can tell me, but um, yeah, certainly I think it deserves its title. It deserves its nickname. And I've enjoyed my time here. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it too. I will have missed things in this one. I know I will because Rawcliffe Parish is, is quite large. And I purposely left the Dutch River and the canal out of the airmen video because I figured it'd be easier to show you those here at Rawcliffe Bridge because of obviously the bridge that crosses the canal. Um, so if you watch the airmen video and you're expecting to see those two in that because they do cross the south of airmen parish, um, then look no further, they're here. They're here in the Rawcliffe uh, video. Right, I need to move on to my next one. So. I've been Andy, I've been the Village Idiot, this has been the parish of Rawcliffe, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.